refer to the figure below I have angle 1 and 2 or 3 fill in the blank given that angle 1 and angle 2 are supplementary supplementary means that angle 1 plus angle 2 equal to 180 so 1 angle 1 plus angle 2 equal to 180 such that measurement of angle 1 x plus 10 and measurement of angle 3 is 2x plus 4 so then angle x equal now here I have the measurement of angle 1 and measurement of angle 3 but I don't have the measurement of angle 2 and given that angle 1 plus angle 2 are supplementary so equal to 180 so let's see the figure here I have here there is a linear pair angles in the linear pair which is angle 2 and angle 3 so angle 3 plus angle 2 because angles in a linear pair equal to 180 now the second equation which I have here I have angle 2 here is common and I have 180 and 180 are equal so from this equation I will get to know that angle 1 will equal to angle 3 also because angle 2 have the same value and angle 1 plus angle 2 equal to 180 and angle 3 plus angle 2 equal also to 180 so that means angle 1 will be equal to angle 3 so I have here angle 1 equal to angle 3 so let's substitute angle 1 is x plus 10 and angle 3 is 2x plus 4 so let's simplify this one x will come to this side and 4 will go to the other side with minus 4 so x will be equal to 6 so the answer here that x will be equal to 6 given that a b and e are collinear i have a b e are collinear so this line c b and d are also collinear i have c b d also collinear now a b congruent to d b a b congruent to d b that means they are equal that means a b equal to d b because they are congruent and b c i have b c congruent to b e b c congruent to b e means that b c equal to b e okay prove that angle c congruent to angle e to prove that these two angles are congruent i want to prove that this triangle congruent to this triangle so once they are congruent so that means all the, ang the angles in both triangles will be congruent also so i want to prove this one with this one anyway drag and drop the correct option from the drop down menu to make each statement true now ab congruent to db okay cb congruent to be abe are collinear cbd are collinear this is given from the question now angle a this angle one congruent to angle two okay and they are equal they are opposite angles okay opposite angles at the same time vertical angles are congruent this angle is vertical to this angle so vertical angles are congruent now i have in these two triangles now i have this side equal to this side and this side equal to this side the same time this angle equal to this angle so now so a b c will be equal to d will be congruent to d b e these two triangles will be congruent side angle side postulate so to prove that two triangles are congruent if i prove that two sides and one angle between them are congruent or equal so these triangles will be congruent so that means triangle abc congruent to dbe because side angle side this side equal to this side this angle equal to this angle and this side equal to this angle so that means these two triangles are congruent 
So once these two, are two triangles are congruent, that means any triangle, any side will be congruent also. So I have C, angle C and angle E will be congruent. And angle D and angle A will be also congruent. And AC and BE, DE will be congruent also. So here at the last I have, I proved that angle C congruent to angle E because correspondent parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Given angle 1 congruent to angle 2, angle 1 congruent to angle 2, which means that angle 1 equal to angle 2 because angle 1 are congruent to angle 2. Okay. And here, let's see here, angle 1 and ACB are linear angles on linear pair. So that means angle 1 plus angle A, A angle ACB equal to 180. And the same, on the same side, I have angle 2 also plus angle ABC will equal to 180, right? Now, angle 1 equal to angle 2, and I have 180, 180, is that me? so in this case, I have to know that angle A, C, B are equal to B, C, A, B, C. But this angle are equal to this angle. So, these both angles are equal to the others, so the sides, the rules of the isosceles triangle that you have, the base angles are equal. Anyway, let's see here. Select the correct option from the drop-down menu to make each statement true. I have angle 1 congruent to angle 2. This is a given from the question. Now, angle 1 and angle ACB. I have angle 1 and angle ACB form a linear pair, right? And also angle 2 and angle ABC form a linear pair. So this is definition of a linear pair. Right, so the here, so angle one and angle ACB are supplementary. That's right, and angle two and angle ABC are supplementary also because here angles in a linear pair are supplementary. So from here, I got to know that I have triangle ABC. Triangle A, B, C. So angle A, B, C, A, B, C are congruent to A, C, B. That's right. These two angles will be congruent. Because definition of congruent angles. So here saying triangle A, B, C is isosceles. Here is saying converse of isosceles triangles theorem. That means if I have the base angles are equal so the sides the opposite sides for these angles are equal so i will have isosceles triangle here okay now given x z and u are collinear x z u are collinear as y z v are also collinear okay now XZ, XZ congruent with VZ, congruent with VZ, that means that XZ equal to VZ, okay. And YZ, I have YZ, okay, congruent with UZ, that means YZ equal to UZ, okay. Prove angle Y congruent with angle u. This is the same like the first question. So here, let's say, I have the here, select the correct option from the drop-down menu uh, that must be used to fill for the missing reasons of the proof below. Now, number one, xz congruent with vz and yz congruent to uz, xz and u are collinear y, z, and v are collinear. This is a given from the question. Now, angle 1 congruent with angle 2, this is 
vertical angles are congruent yes vertical angles are congruent and I have this side congruent with this side and this side congruent with this side so I have this triangle will be congruent to this triangle using SAS postulate which it says side angle side side angle side postulate so once these two triangles are congruent that means that the angles also will be congruent sides will be congruent so here I have angle Y will be congruent to angle U angle A and angle B are supplementary that means angle A plus angle B equal to 180 because they are supplement now angle B and angle C are supplementary also so angle B plus angle C are supplementary so it would be 180 also now so now we got to know that we know by default that I have angle B and angle B in the same equation and 100 100 180 and 180 so angle A will be equal to angle C directly will be, will be equal to angle C now measurement of angle A sets 6x minus 28 so substitute sets x minus 28 and here saying that measurement of angle B equal to y okay and measurement of angle C equal to a 2x plus 4 fill in the blanks we need to know x and y now now we get the x as we said here angle a will be equal to angle c so 6x minus 28 will be equal to 2x plus 4 once we get x we'll substitute in any of these equations to get the y because angle b is the y now here let's simplify this equation we'll move this 2x to other side so it will be 4x and minus 28 will go to the side with plus 28 so equal to 28 plus 4 it will be 32 so here divide by 4 divide by 4 so x will be equal to 8 so here x will be equal to 8 now to get y let's take any of this equation so let's say I will take angle A plus angle B equal to 180 right angle A which is 6x minus 28 so we'll substitute x in this in angle A so I have 6 multiply 8 minus 28 plus angle B is y will be equal to 180 now 6 multiply 8 is 48 minus 28 plus y would be equal to 180 now 48 minus 28 it will be 20 so 20 plus y will be equal to 180 so 20 will go to the other side with minus 20 so that means we'll get that y equal to 160 degree so the answer here for y is 160 degree in the figure below dc equal to db dc equal to db so this is isosceles triangle isosceles triangle so that means these two angles the base angle are equal so here let's say this angle is angle 1 and this angle 2 angle 3 and angle 4 so I have here isosceles triangles angle 2 will be equal to angle 3 angle 1 and angle 2 angles in the bare line linear pair it's a linear pair so angle 1 plus angle 2 be equal to 180 same here angle 3 and angle 4 also in a linear pair angles in a linear pair so it will be equal to 180 now angle 2 and angle 3 are equal and here 180 180 is that so angle 1 and angle 4 will be equal 
So angle one will be equal to angle four. Now let's substitute angle one with two x plus thirty four, and angle four will be seven x minus six. Now let's simplify this one. If go here, it will be five x, and six will go the other side with plus. It will be equal to forty. Divide by 5, divide by 5, so x will be equal to 8. So the answer here is 8. Angle M and angle N are complementary. Complementary, that means angle M plus angle N will be equal to 90 degree. This is complementary, 90 degree. Now angle N plus angle B also complementary so will be equal to 90 so from these two equations I have n equal to n and 90 equal to 90 so m will be equal to p so angle m will be equal to angle p now let's substitute here so I have 5y minus 14 will be equal to y plus 26 so let's simplify y will go here 4y equal 14 minus 14 will go to the other side with plus 14 so it will be equal to 40 divide by 4 divide by 4 so y would be equal to 10 so the answer here is 10. refer to the figure below what is the value of y i have three lines intersecting in one point here so the vertical angles are congruent or equal or opposite angles will be equal to each other so for example this angle the opposite angle for this angle is this one so they are equal so 4x plus 1 will be equal to 3x plus 13. now here also y angle this is y angle the opposite angle for this one or the vertical angle is 2x plus 8 so y will be equal to 2x plus 8 now to get y we have to get x so we will solve the first equation to get x then we'll substitute in the second equation to get y so let's take this one so we'll simplify this equation so 3x will go to the other side it will be x and 1 will go to the other side with minus 1 so x will be 12. now now we get x we we'll substitute and x in this equation so y will be equal to 2 multiply 12 plus 8 so 2 multiply 12 is 24 plus 8 so y will be equal to 32 so the answer here will be 32